The last nine months have been tough for Chrisette Michelle. Fans of hers have continued to go after her on social media, upset with her decision to accept an invitation to perform at Donald Trump's inauguration in January. Uh, if you look at social media posts, uh, they have been mean, they have been cruel, they have been bitter, they have been angry. If you might recall when this took place, uh, many folks criticized her. Spike Lee, entertainer Questlove, he offered to pay her not to perform for a president many saw as a direct threat to the lives and livelihoods of black folks and other people of color. Spike Lee, whom Michelle considered to be a mentor, decided that he would not use one of her songs in his Netflix series, She's Gotta Have It, which will debut uh, in November. We have seen this over the past few months. Uh, the woman who performed at President Obama state dinner and also his last speech of the Congressional Black Caucus, who also performed with U.S. troops and appeared uh, at NAACP, has been attacked by many folks. The other day, uh, she, she announced that her record label uh, had dropped her, shocking her. And so uh, I had uh, responded to her tweet, and then we responded back and forth, then had a conversation, and then we said, let's talk about it on the show. So, Chrisette Michelle joins us right now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, to take, take me back through the decision. So, who reached out to you to perform at Trump's inauguration? Sure, uh, a production company, uh, one that I've worked with for a long time. Uh, these are the same people who booked me to perform for the troops. Uh, these are the same people who booked me for all of my different types of shows. So it was a production company um, that we hear from often. <laughs> and, and was, did they reach out? Now, now was this a paid opportunity? Because, uh, look, I've heard all kind of stuff. It was paid, it was non-paid, you got 700000 you got 200000 I heard all of that. Yeah, the rumor mill has been really busy. <laughs> and I don't really know where people come up with those numbers. Um, if I get paid 700000 it's usually for like a tour where I'm out for, you know, 32 cities or whatever. But, but like every gig that they call me for, it's a paid gig. That's what I do for a living. That's how I pay my bills is, is being a paid performer. And so when you made this decision, how did you come to that conclusion to say, yes, I'll do it? Because clearly, as somebody who follows politics, you saw uh, just the visceral reaction to Trump's election. There were people, especially a lot of black folks, who were literally despondent uh, after November, the, the, the November election. Sure. I mean, like you said, I've sang, performed for Barack Obama. I've sang for the troops. I've sang for the NAACP. I've done all of these things, the Congressional Black Hawk, all that. Um, even supported uh, uh, Obama in 2008 and 2012 by singing at the DNC's. So these are people who I've sang for and, and this community, my black community, are people who I've sang for many times. So when this happened and we were all devastated, I mean, I didn't vote for Trump and I'm sure you didn't. And I think that was just something that was really uh, painful for everybody. I think everybody was in shock. The only thing I could think to do is say, how can we heal? How can we lift each other up in this really uncomfortable, scary time? Um, and so my intention was to bring healing. We sang a gospel song with Travis Green. I backed him up, and, um, and it was the wrong decision. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. It definitely didn't heal. And so but when you say wanting to heal, I mean, what jumps out is uh, who you're trying to heal. Right. Because I know a lot of folks who, because first of all, what, what this, I don't think this, this, this was even televised. And if it was, uh, it wasn't widespread. And so who were you trying to heal? Mm -hmm. African Americans, America, or Trump? I think that, you know, for, first of all, it was t televised on a lot of uh, news stations and places where we watch the type of political things that are happening okay. right now. Um, and so, you know, seeing a strong black woman or a woman who's been a part of this community for such a long time, to, you know, been a voice in this community for such a long time, I thought that I would be talking to us. I really did. Um, that was what I was thinking. Um, you know, I've been singing gospel music for a long time. Um, and I've been lifting people up for a long time when they're down. And so this is something that I do uh, on many stages. And this was just one stage. It was a political stage. It was a scary stage. And, you know, the message didn't come across the way I intended it to. Were there any folks on your team who said, Chrisette, 
do not do this. This is a horrible idea. Mm -hmm. So my manager who received the call said no immediately. And I said, this is an opportunity. And we went back and forth for even days really, um, just with me saying, this is, a, this is a way for me to tell us that we're gonna be okay. This is a way to tell. And you know, there were different choices that the folks wanted us to do. And it was my idea to bring in Travis Green and, and do a gospel song. At first they asked to sing the national anthem and I was like, absolutely not. So, you know, it's not like I don't stand for anything when, I was, when I'm making my choices. Um, but the choice to sing a song about everything going to be all right and to keep hope alive and to keep God first and keep your prayer, you know, all that kind of stuff um, went on deaf ears. And when you saw the, first of all, you saw lots of reaction before you even took the stage. Jennifer Holliday mm -hmm. was criticized. She was going to sing. Her audience fired back quickly. Mm -hmm. um, she has a significant LGBT audience. Mm -hmm. They said, how dare you? She saw the backlash. She pulled out. Did you not see that backlash? Did you, did you not see what happened to her and say, I might want to reconsider this? When you, and there were other singers as well mm -hmm. who said, uh, no, we want no parts of this. Mm -hmm. I think when you have a, a positive message and you're thinking about uplifting people, you go by any means. If your heart is saying, I got to fix this, I got to show people that we're going to be okay, you go by any means. You don't, you don't cower down when people say, you know, don't, because my heart was in a place to bring some sort of healing. Again, I offended millions of people and it was, uh, you know, detrimental to so many people's hearts. I mean, in between, in, reading in between the lines, because you can read all the angry messaging, but you can also read the ones where people say, you really hurt me, and I'm sorry for hurting so many people. I am. And when you talk about that hurt, 94% mm -hmm. um, of black women um, did not vote for Donald Trump. They voted for Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. There was a nine point gap between black men and black women who voted for for Trump. That's your base. Right. Black women are absolutely loyal. Right. Uh, in fact, I, I'm... Um, I'm a part of that 94%. I just, uh, as we're having a conversation, a woman just tweeted me, bless, bless your heart for allowing CM to tell her story, but we still aren't taking her back. Mm -hmm. Well, the, I mean, all that I can do is apologize. All that I can do is say this is where my heart was. This is where my heart is. This is where my heart's always been. I have a history of being this girl who goes into these scary... I've been to Iraq and Afghanistan to sing for the troops. I have a history of going into the scary places and singing music about hope. That's just a part of who I am. So if they don't accept me, you know, that's their decision. Um, I'm still going to be uplifting. I'm still going to be a positive person. Uh, but I understand that people, you know, decide and make choices and and, you know, I respect that. Hold tight one second. We come back more with, with Chrisette Michelle right here. Uh, news one now on TV One.